hi and welcome to Jamie Winkles, a fully responsive, clean and professional web flow template perfect for video production agencies or videographers to showcase their portfolio. So first I'll take you through a quick overview of the template. So initially we have the header here. Here in the upper left we have the logo with the text that appears we have a nice interaction here we have some text and this is easily replaceable here in the upper left we have a background video and this is also easily replaceable so you can add your own video here and here in the upper right we have the menu trigger and we have a nice animation with it so here when i hover it animates and when i click the menu opens so here when i hover over each menu item we have the image change so you can add more media uh, in the template uh, that goes with your particular service or brand and again we have the name of the site appear when we hover over the logo mark here also social media is placed in every section of the template uh, including the menu and at the bottom of the template so users always have access to your social media channels and here we can close the menu by clicking here and it looks good so again we have the social media icons here at the bottom so users always have access to your social media channels and as we scroll we have a nice description area uh, here we have some larger text so here you could write kind of the main aspect of your service or brand to really highlight those particular qualities uh, then we have the project section as we scroll down and we have an interesting parallax effect uh, as we hover over each project. So each project, uh, the text can be replaced and the image, and it can link out to anything, a link, uh, another page, or a YouTube video or Vimeo video. Uh, basically anything you want to link it to, you can link these different projects uh, to that. Okay, and it also appears on scroll. So we have a nice uh, fade in effect as we scroll through each project. Okay, the next section is our services, um, and here we have tabs, so the user can go through the different services and read about the services by clicking on these different tabs. Then we have testimonials, so users uh, who have left some feedback on your product or service, uh, you can include the testimonial here. And then we have the footer section, um, so here the user can click to email you directly, um, and the address and some more information here at the bottom and the social media icons again here so the user can access your social media uh, for the contact form we have an animated contact form um, so here it says get in touch so when we hover over it animates and then when we click the contact form opens yeah it opens up and here we have the contact form the user can fill out all this information and when they click submit we have a submission view here that says, thank you, your submission has been received. And again, um, they can email directly here or the social media. And this image is replaceable as well. Uh, so that is a quick overview of the Jamie Winkles videographer portfolio template. Uh, next, we will get into the different aspects of the template within Webflow. So here we have the template in Webflow. The first thing I want to showcase is the responsiveness of the template. So this template has been optimized for desktop, tablet, uh, mobile landscape, and mobile portrait. So if I click through each of these uh, different orientations and devices, we can see the template uh, in that particular device. So it has been optimized and designed for each device, so it is fully responsive. So that's tablet. This is mobile uh, landscape. And as you can see, we have uh, items more vertically centered. And then we have mobile portrait. And looks good. The menu has also been optimized for the different devices. So on mobile landscape, the menu is just the menu items and the different icons here. And the same for uh, the mobile landscape. On tablet, we do have the image that changes as we hover over the menu items and on desktop we have the images that change with each menu item. So that is the responsiveness of the template. It has been designed and optimized to fit any device. 
So the next thing I'll go over is the background video. Uh, so here if I select the background video and I go into the navigator panel here in Webflow, we see we have a background video overlay and we also have the background video. If I select background video, I can click on this gear icon here in the upper left or I can go to the element settings and I can replace the video. So for this, I wouldn't recommend having the video too large, maybe between four megabytes and 15, uh, but the less uh, the size of the video, the better, so it doesn't really affect the load time of your website. Okay, so that is how you replace the video. Just click replace video, and you can replace it with any video that is on your computer. Okay, so that is the background video. So the next thing I'll cover is the different sections uh, within the navigator panel. So here in Webflow, we have the navigator panel and we have all the sections. So the first section is the sections wrapper. Then we have the project section, which includes uh, the different projects. And we can link out these projects. If you select the project wrapper here in Webflow, you can link it out to a URL, uh, a page, page section, email, a phone number or a file okay and you can also place these projects in a collection list and link them out to different pages um, that you've created within the collection list um, so it's just a nice way to showcase different projects so the next section is the separator section so it's the R services and this just separates the previous section from the R service our services section then we have the services section and in the services section, it's actually a tab. So if I select the tabs here, I can click on each tab. And if I go to element settings, um, I can select the different tabs here to change the content. All right. And I can just select tab one through four. And I can add more tabs to add more content here. Okay. The next section is another separator section for testimonials. Then we have the testimonial section and all this content is replaceable. And the next section is the footer section. And we have the button here and some more content and all this content is replaceable. So that is an overview of the navigator panel. Uh, we also have the contact section and I'll go over that in the next uh, section. So the next thing I wanna cover for this template is the menu and contact form. So initially we, can, we can't see the menu and that's because the menu is inside of a symbol and the symbol is the header symbol. Um, so to access the content within a symbol, you simply double click and now I have access to the menu here within the navigator panel. So initially we can't see the menu and that's because the menu is moved all the way to the right. Um, so it's moved 100% to the right. So to move it back, we'll select the menu here in the navigator, go into styles and here in position where we have the position values here where it says 100%, we want to bring it back to 0%. And that way the menu will move from the right to the left. And now we can edit all the content within the menu. Uh, we can replace the images for each menu uh, item. So here we have menu image one, we can go into styles, and simply replace the background image here. So I can select it, replace image, and select an image uh, that I have in the assets panel here. And I can change the color overlay. Right now it's a solid color at an opacity of 60%. So all the images are replaceable here for the menu images. Okay, so once we're done with editing the menu, we can go back and select the menu here in the navigator and bring it back uh, here from the left back to 100%. So it moves the menu all the way to the right. And with the interaction, we're actually moving the menu back to 0% when the user clicks the menu trigger. And uh, the same for the contact form. So I'll click out of the menu and I'll scroll all the way down and I'll go to the navigator panel. I'll select the, the contact section and We'll bring it back to 0% here from the left. So now we can edit the contact form and we can edit all the, the content here. So I do leave a video for each specific uh, topic 
for this template. Uh, I leave a, a, a web flow, a link to a web flow video that kind of describes how to work with background videos, interactions, contact forms, and things like that. This is just a quick overview of things to look out for when working with the template. Okay, so I'll select the contact section and I'll bring it back to 100%. So it's not visible within the template initially. For the SEO for the page, you can click on the pages icon here. You can click on the gear icon for the page. And here for SEO settings, you can change the title tag and the meta description. You can set the open graph settings and the site search settings and things like that. So it's fairly simple to just edit the title and description of the template. So along with this tutorial on how to use the template, the template also comes with documentation and a style guide. So there is a typography style guide that you can take a look at. And this uh, documentation also covers how to edit the menu and contact form that I covered in this tutorial. Um, so just select the menu and then bring the menu from 100% to 0% so you can edit the content and the same with the contact section. Okay, And also uh, within the template, so let me just go back in here, uh, within the template there is a style guide page that goes through the typography style guide and an image license page. So all the images and videos used in this template are under the Creative Commons Zero license, so you can use it for personal projects or commercial projects. Uh, but again, all the content and, and uh, images and video for the template are replaceable. So this template has a lot of nice interactions. If we go into the Navigator panel, we can see the different elements that have uh, an interaction and we can tell by this green circle with the lightning bolt symbol so if I select it uh, here and I go into the interactions I can look at the different interactions each element has there is a great webflow video that goes over how to use interactions so I'm not going to cover it too much in detail in this tutorial but just know that with any element that has a green circle with a lightning bolt symbol it has an interaction so interactions were used for the menu trigger we have this little interaction here saying to scroll to discover. And this is also an interaction with the parallax movement. And the contact form is an interaction. And the menu, when you open the menu, that is also an interaction. And hovering over these menu items is an interaction as well. Okay, so there are interactions throughout the template and they're very easy to access. You can just um, go into each interaction and then open the interactions panel and go into the interaction and here are the different interactions for the template. So that is it for the Jamie Winkles videographer portfolio template. If you need any help when using the template, you can email me at support at webdevforyou.com or you can go to the support section for the template um, on the template page and uh, write a comment and I will respond and help with the template. So yeah, that's it for this template. Hopefully you enjoy it and it is a great template to get started or to you know have a one page template to showcase your work and you can also create more pages to link out the different projects uh, to those pages. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out webdevforyou.com uh, for more content and uh, yeah, have fun designing in Webflow.